information system. It is developed in uh, ASP.NET C Sharp SQL Server. For this project, you can use any uh, Visual Studio version uh, like 2008, 10, or uh, 15, 17, whatever you have. And you can use SQL Server 2008 and any higher version. So we are going to use uh, in this project Visual Studio 2017 and SQL Server 2014 Express Edition. Uh, we have installed Visual Studio 2017 Community Education uh, Community uh, version. Uh, now, first uh, we will create the database. So, for database, you can use uh, database backup file or database script file. So, I am going to use db script file. So, first I have to start SQL Server. Now, I go to SQL Server 2014. This is Management Studio. Once it is start, you just connect to the database and create one blank DB, and then you have to execute that uh, DB script file. So you can give any name of that your database, uh, like online exam or whatever you want. You have to just mention that uh, database name in your connection stream. Okay, now it is started. Okay, so I'll just do connect. Now click on database and right click create a new database. So I give it is a test exam DV. Click on OK. So it will create one database here. Just right click and say new query. So you have the database script file. Okay, so you just copy that path and click on file and click open. Open file. Selected path DB script. Okay. Now just uh, you remove this line because you have given the other name, right? Just take them. I'm just uh, execute it. It will create all the tables with sample records. Okay. Now you just refresh the, the tables. So you will get all the tables like whatever the question, answer, exam. It is previously added. It will show here. Now after that, you have to start Visual Studio. Go Visual Studio. So you can use any version. So I am using that community version of Visual Studio 2017. Click on Start. Just copy the path of the source folder. Copy this path. Copy. Then go your Visual Studio. Open website. Just paste the path here. Up to source. Click on open. Okay. Now here you have to do two things. First you have to set the default page. It is the first page of that uh, set a start page. And open that CLS main. Here you have the connection string, database connection. Now data source name, you just go to your SQL server and click on properties. You will get the server name. Just copy this name. Okay, whatever written in your SQL server, just change it. Paste it. Then database name. So whatever database name you give there. Then I give test exam data. You just copy and paste it here. Paste. Okay, now save this file. So we have done. Now you just run it. You can select the, your browser. I give you Google Chrome. And you click run. So it will build and it will start your project. So here are two setup user is there. One is that normal user. You can register and you can 
log in and then give the test another set of users admin user you can create exam set the question paper okay this is the project so for uh, username you can just go that user must be that will that member so you can get the old username like this just go and password you can do it password sorry okay so if you want to give a test just click on exam select the paper start examination so you have to select the uh, which one is the correct that option so I want to change B so I just give the random answer this is a multiple choice you can select multiple option so admin user can create a different set of questions answer and it will automatically or randomly create the question link it won't hit the exam Once I complete the exam, it will show me that result. This is the last question. Last question. Now quickly end examination. So it will show marks is 35. I am failed. So user can see the right answer. And so which one is right? So I have given wrong answer. Wrong answer. And one is right. Now this result is actually short. Uh, if I go to my account, it will show all the exam I have given. So I can give the last result I have given, like 35 marks. Okay. <coughs> now for admin login, you have to just uh, click this uh, change the URL. Click admin. Then login. Dot Now for admin, you do that, like admin.exam.com and password also the admin. Now here all exam is already there, so I want to add a new exam, so I can give the name of the exam like GK, description is GK, total time, time is, it is not checking the time, but question is about it. number of questions for test, so 5 question maximum is 50. Passing was 25. Submit. So new added. Now question bank. New question is added. So I want to create a new open question bank. So I have to create a new one. Click on add new. So question type I can see the single. Okay. Our option is new delivery. And right one is this one. See update. So one question is created in GK section. So I have to create minimum five five questions because minimum question I have set in the five. So same way user can add new question also user can see the existing question like SQL server so it is a 107 question and whatever result user can see means admin user can see whoever gives the exam so it is a very simple project so you have to remember two things you have to First, create the database. Either you use that uh, backup file or script file. Then open that project in Visual Studio and change the connection in CLS main file. Okay. So you can refer this demo or you can refer existing demo also. Okay. So I just close it. Okay.